Hey folks, it's Craig Bouchon at a wonderful event today on the Craig Bouchon Show. You're going to want to check this out. You're going to check out this post. We'll have it up at the CraigBouchonShow.com and be first in media. And to my right, you know, listen, a lot of people, you think that I clown around. Okay. All the years I've been doing broadcasting, I get emails, I I'll get tweets. Craig, it seems like you're clowning around. Well, this man to my right, Mr. Leon Coffey, world renowned for clowning around. How are you, sir? Uh, doing well. I'm still clowning around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, this is a great deal out here tonight, uh, today. Uh, it's um, a golf tournament for the Wounded Warriors for, uh, by, put on by the VFW of the uh, Wembley uh, uh, Post. And uh, the Wembley Post puts on the, the 4th of July rodeo over there in Wembley. And uh, this golf tournament is just to help the Wounded Warriors. So come on out and have some fun with us. Absolutely. You know, what's so fantastic about getting out, you know, in the environment like this and yet having a little bit of fun. And I, I like that you're, you're, you're dressed up, uh, you know, to truly show that, listen, uh, you know, just like your world, you know, clowning around in, 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 in the uh, in the rodeo world. Yeah, it's funny to look at. But it's a serious job, too. Oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, you can get hurt out there fighting bulls in, uh, in the rodeo arena. But, uh, it, you know, it's it's a controlled environment uh we can we can get hurt quite a bit and the bulls weigh 1500 to 2000 pounds and they can hit you with one blow and put 2000 pounds worth of pressure on you and that's that's a lot so yeah there's a there's a chance that you could die out here but it's not like the chances that these these uh, wounded warriors have taken just to save so that we can do that so uh this is uh, all about them this week and uh, you know we we've got a tough job but we want to let them know that they got a tougher job, and we appreciate it. Well, I tell you, I thank you so much for coming out today. And these are these type of events are what we need to do more and more of. I know there's a lot of great people out there putting on events all around the country. You know, Veterans Day, Memorial Day. You know, a lot of things that happen throughout the year that we can give back and celebrate uh, and give respect to those who have given some all for for this great nation. So we can clown around and go to bullfighting and go to you know watch the Bronx out there. But the reality is that. Uh, uh, when we're out here today, ladies and gentlemen, you need to check out the links that we put up on this post because you can donate, you can get involved. Now, how does now how does your organization get involved in this? You know, how does how does your arena, if you will, uh, contribute to what's happening today? Well, this golf tournament is all about that. It's just contributing to them. Uh, all the proceeds go to the Wounded Warriors uh, 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 Support Fund uh, to help them do anything they need to do, however they need to do it, in whatever way we can help them in any way. And uh, being from the Veterans of Foreign Wars uh, branch of uh, VFW in Wimberley, it's, uh, it's kind of like we're taking care of our own. Absolutely. And folks, when you drive by and you see the VFWs, you know, all over, small towns, big cities, all over this, this uh, United States, you know, the VFW does things like this. They team up with organizations, many different organizations. So always know that if you see somebody standing out, out inside of a, a store asking for donations, it's the holiday season right now. We have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, we have Hanukkah. I could go on. But it's so important to give to those who are out here even today giving to those who give most and uh, and the VFW is a big part of that oh yes most definitely and uh, these guys are just drove uh, drove up and about to hit a ball out here so I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> interrupt them if I can I'll be right back <laughs> absolutely let's check this out folks he needs to go do that okay who's first <laughs> you know I'm gonna pick on you this should be interesting folks you first uh -huh. <laughs> Not that often you get to see a clown clown around uh, outside of the arena. This is very, uh, well, very unique footage. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, they're, they're, they're like, uh, uh, I think they're intimidated a little bit by what you're doing. They, they, they obviously were staying away from you. Uh, so you were kind of the bull in this arena. <laughs> yes, I am. In so, this arena, you know, it's, it, you have to be quiet in the gallery, you know. Not me! <laughs> you know, that's the one great thing about actually being a clown is that you can get away with it all the time. <laughs> now, real quick, just, you know, because a lot of people out there, we have a lot of youth that, each, uh, that watch the programming, mm -hmm. and they see a clown. Okay, and you know where did the history come from to dress up like a clown? It's getting in the arena. Uh, well, these guys, we're we're out there for the entertainment of the of the crowd, 
from eight years old to 80 years old. And uh, when them kids see a clown, you know, any circus has a circus clowns, but we're not like a circus clown. We don't do uh, skits and stuff like that. But we're out there for the protection of a bull rider if they made a qualified eight second rider before it. But we dress up like this to, to get a smile. Uh, the, it was something that just uh, became a part of the business because uh, there were guys that um, got hurt and couldn't ride anymore or, or couldn't ride that week or whatever. So they said, well, why don't you get out there and protect us? You know, but they didn't nobody know who they were, so they painted the face and got out there and they did a good job. So uh, it's just, it was a hidden deal. But uh, it became an occupation. And uh, now the guys have gotten away from wearing the makeup. And uh, the guys are just strictly rodeo athletes protecting bull riders. And that's a, that's a pretty tough job. But uh, now they don't do the comedy with it, and I still do. And uh, so I'm the barrel man, and I don't fight bulls anymore. So we just have to put an entertainment of the crowd now. So that's how we basically came about. Well, I'll tell you, every rodeo I've ever been to, I like the idea of the makeup. I like the idea of the clowning around. I think it does get the, the not only the kids, excited and looking at it even myself I love looking at it. I want to thank you so much for your great career you know and you know someone like yourself is someone that you keep giving back and and folks we we have to look at the lessons of just like mr. Leon coffee here what he's doing you know retirement that's that's not in the cards is it you constantly get out here don't you oh yeah um, I, I can't retire I don't I owe my banker too much money <laughs> <laughs> no I, uh, I, I don't you know, the good Lord gave me the ability to do what I do, and when he takes that ability away, that's when I'm going to quit. Uh, but until then, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm doing what he put me on earth to do, and that's to help people out and make people happy, and I'm trying to do that out here. And uh, it's just, it's a way of life for me. And uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys throughout the years have chose this career uh, to just make people happy make people laugh, make people smile. And that's a tough job at times because, you know, there's a lot of times that people don't come out here and they go, well, oh, it's a terrible day. But you got to put a smile on their face. No matter what happens in your life, when you step, don't put this makeup on, you step out there in that arena, you've got to make somebody laugh. So you've got to put all of your feelings behind you or hidden behind this makeup. And if I'm having a bad day, can't nobody tell that. They're not supposed to know that. I can't have a bad day. When I put this makeup on, everything's great. Although sometimes it may not be, <laughs> but that's what we do it for. Well, I want to thank you so much. And so many of our veterans out here today, they can they appreciate it also. And a lot of them are having to learn how to put new faces on and, and how to get behind from behind that face, too, and face some of the things, you know, some of the traumatic things, whether it's uh, TBI, traumatic brain injury, or PTSD, or, or maybe it's a family issue, or whatever it is. You know, someone like yourself, you bring some happiness to them. And I want to thank you so much for uh, staying with us today. Thank you. I appreciate you. Well, there you have it, folks. Just stay tuned. We're going to be uh, posting stuff up all the time. Uh, we're out here today at uh, at Voller Creek. That's two A's, okay? And it's a golf club out here. It's a beautiful place. It feels like you're driving to the middle of nowhere. When you get here, it is like you are on an island. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's 100% out for the veterans today. VFW's out here. Uh, please uh, make sure that you follow the links uh, from this video post. Thank you so much, and stay tuned.